Bypassing the scale is actually a class two misdemeanor in the state of Arizona. The signs that go in there, your commercial vehicle, you didn't go in. This is what you need here to get your new title work done? Hi there, registration, insurance, and IFTA. Go ahead and come up here and release your brakes. This is actually the uh, insurance, liability insurance Cargo. for your load. Hi, Beam. Thank you. You got it. The Department of Transportation has, for a number of years, had an enforcement component uh, located within the Motor Vehicle Division. When Director Halakoski came on board, uh, one of his goals was to separate that function from the Motor Vehicle Division into a separate entity into itself and call it the Enforcement Compliance Division. All right. So your permit book, please. We've been in business now for about three years. Truly, I believe the biggest misconception about ECD is really what the roles, responsibilities, uh, and the functions of the division happen to be. One of our main primary responsibilities is to identify trucks that are overweight, to get them off the road and to get them within compliance. Because if we don't, bridges, approaches, roadway surfaces degrade quicker. But what that translates to is added expense and more money and delays in trying to get that highway back up to speed where everybody can enjoy it safely. I cringe to think what would happen if we weren't out here doing the job that we're doing. It, it would be a huge safety concern. Hi. How are you? We check for credential validation, a registration insurance. We weigh commercial vehicles to ensure compliance with Arizona weight laws. Let me hear one of your horns, please. We conduct commercial vehicle safety inspections and we issue permits as needed. Okay, you do need a permit because it's only registered for California and you have to have a permit for Arizona. Here's your uh, licensed medical card, your logbook, yeah. all your paperwork, and here's your copy of the inspection. We're looking for the impaired driver, whether they've been drinking, whether they're over hours and they may be fatigued, or whether that equipment that the operator may be driving is dangerous. In addition to our fixed facilities, we also have portable scale facilities where we have scales set up in uh, rest areas. We're looking for our major violators. We see a lot of crack frames. We see brakes that are out of adjustment. There's not just weights that we're looking for. We're also looking for making sure our trucks are, are safe. We're looking for theft history. We're looking for salvage history. I got to check the VIN numbers, confidential numbers make sure that it's roadworthy. The inspection process that the ECD is involved in involves somebody who comes in and wants to register a vehicle to make sure that it is not a stolen car or a salvaged vehicle and what allows them to register the car and legally operate it and drive it on Arizona highways. We're 1019. He actually bypassed the scales, uh, the, the whole way station, okay? The issue is he had no idea he had to stop. Uh, he didn't know he was a commercial vehicle. How you doing? We're gonna help him. Hey, you know why I stopped you? We're gonna educate him. We're gonna let him know exactly where he needs to be to, uh, from now on. We're a very specialized component. Commercial vehicle enforcement is our primary function here. We're not here just to stop people and, uh, and give them tickets and harass them. He may not be really happy with me right now, but I'm gonna make sure that he's safe for everyone else. Take care of yourself, All drive right. safely. I appreciate it. You as well. All right, guys. ADOT, keeping Arizona moving.